right, y'all, I'm super excited about today's video. Today we're going to be learning about the main types of grounding and bonding conductors that we run into and how to size them. So there are really three classifications of grounding and bonding conductors. The first one is the grounding electrode conductor, the GEC. The second one is the bonding jumper. This includes the main bonding jumper, supply side bonding jumper, system bonding jumper, and so on and so forth. And the third type that we run into is the equipment grounding conductor. That's the EGC. We're going to learn about all three of them now. Let's get to it. All right, so let's jump right into it. The first one that we're going to learn about is the grounding electrode conductor, the GEC. So let's take a look at this. Let's imagine we're on this building and we have to put in a new grounding system because the old one was just wore out or they cut the old, uh, you know, metal plumbing pipe out and we had to start fresh. So let's say we're putting up this 200 amp meter disconnect combo, pretty standard. And then we know we're pros, right? We know we got to drive a ground rod to establish that grounding electrode system. And you guys are pro guys and gals. You know we got to drive a second one six foot away. All right, so we've set that up. And this is actually going to be our grounding electrode. Both of them are. That is what our grounding electrode is. If we had a footing ground, that would be our grounding electrode. Now let's go ahead and install the conductor. We know we've got to connect the first rod or the second rod. And then we have to go you know, over to, and that's one way you can do it. And then we'll head over to the main point of disconnect and that's gonna establish our grounding electrode system. But this conductor right here is actually our grounding electrode conductor. And it goes this whole length right here, whether you did this or you came up and you put two conductors here, you know, no matter how you wanted to do it, both of those or this individual run would be our grounding electrode conductor, the GEC. So this is something we're very familiar with that we use all the time. This is your grounding electrode conductor. Now I made this one green just for illustration, but you know, it could be bare, solid, insulated, or stranded no matter however you want to do it to satisfy that code you can do it often we use bare don't we out in the field all right so let's go ahead and look at the next one All right, so the next one we're going to be looking at is the bonding jumper. Now, we're not going to do a detailed explanation of what all these different type bonding jumpers are. I've put out previous videos on that. And also our friend Ryan Jackson, he is top notch and he just recently put out the definition for it and did a great job explaining all the different ones. Today, we're just going to talk about what, it, you know, what one of them are. And we're going to talk about how to size them as we go through this series this week. So let's go ahead and look at, you know, there's main bonding jumpers, system bonding jumpers jumpers and supply side bonding jumpers. There may be others, but these are the main ones that you're going to come across, especially when you're testing or when you're out in the field. But the main one that we deal with as electricians day to day is the main bonding jumper. Now the main bonding jumper. So if this was the first point of disconnect in a system, this piece of copper right here would actually be the main bonding jumper. This would be bonding this to the can. You could argue that this green screw is a part of that system as well because you'd have to mechanically connect it. Okay. But this is the bonding jumper. This is making the bonding connection. Another one that we often see is this right here. Okay. And this green screw is actually the bonding jumper itself. So when, you, if this was the first point of disconnect and we were to screw in this green screw right here, and what that would be is that would actually be our main bonding jumper. We're making that first solid connection in between our grounds and neutrals right there at the first point of disconnect. And we're not going to jump into what all that means. Another way that it can be done and when you're sizing it out in the field is it can be done with wire or for your testing. And that's what we're going to be learning about this week is all about the tables. So this wire right here could actually be a main system or supply side bonding jumper, just depending on where it's at in the system. This might be the main bonding jumper and this might be a supply side bonding jumper or a system bonding jumper. I'm not sure. I don't know where this is in the system. So let's go ahead and look at the next one. All right, so let's go ahead and learn about the third one. And the third one is the equipment grounding conductor. Now, this is the one we're most familiar with, isn't it? This is the one that is going to be inside of our wire or inside of our pipe that we've established as the equipment grounding conductor to ground our equipment. I've taught you lots of times on this video the reason that we have the equipment grounding conductor, and you can search our video on why we even have the equipment grounding conductor. But in this case, that's the EGC. Now, don't confuse it with the GEC, the grounding electrode conductor. This is the EGC, the equipment grounding conductor. And here's another good example. All of these are equipment grounding conductors that are twisted inside of that green wire nut. This would be 
Uh, another equipment grounding conductor, there's not a technical name for the one that extends, I suppose, as far as grounding and bonding goes. But with that being said, all of these are equipment grounding conductors, and this is the equipment grounding conductor. I'm super excited to be in this series with you. Tomorrow, we're going to learn about the table and how to size your grounding electroconductor. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it.